These proprietors of private schools offering the universal secondary education program claim that government is frustrating their progress. As I speak now, I have not got any coin in my school for this year. In fact, even last year, I'm still demanding 24 million shillings and pay. We are now, to, we are now being told that we, we expect money after the budget, and that is August. How do you pay the teachers? By the latest uh, information available on our desk, we have remitted money up to 98% of the promised USE grant to the schools. The last money went last week. They claim the delay in release of funds is not only crippling their business, but also insufficient. Trying to request parents to pay extra 50000 would translate to maintaining a school, a student, at 1,000 shillings, which is still below standard. Through their association, they are now threatening to charge the parents of children under the government-funded USE program. Now that we have had nothing to run the school since the year began, we have come up with a resolution that we start charging. We engage the parents, we agree with the parents, and I think they'll buy this idea that we start charging. However, the Commissioner for Secondary Education responded by accusing the private schools of poor budgeting structures. The money we gave them in second and third quarter was very good. It was well above what they expected. Why did they not go by their budget? They just got excited. The private schools also protest the quarterly release of funds, saying salaries of teachers need to be paid monthly. We are now, to, we are now being told that we, we expect money after the budget, and that is August. How do you pay the teachers? How do you buy the desks? How do you buy chalk? There was a provision that we use postdated checks. So others have already committed themselves to pay by June, to pay by July. So these checks are going to bounce. They received the money, earned it, they received the money, spent it lovely. Now the balance which was left was hardly five million. So that is what we released. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.